In one of our last videos, we explained how to derive small signal equivalent circuits and showed one simple example. Today, we will show you one more complex example. We already did the operating point adjustment for this amplifier circuit. Therefore, RG is 3 kilo ohm and RS is 500 ohm. We now want to derive the small signal equivalent circuit, the voltage amplification V out to V in, and the small signal parameter RDS and GM. So, let's start with the small signal equivalent circuit. First of all, we deal with the resistors. As we know, they just remain resistors. As we only have voltage sources and no current sources, we replace all constant DC voltage sources by and short. Afterwards, we replace the transistor by its small signal representation and redraw the small signal equivalent circuit a little bit for a better overview. This is the resulting circuit. Now we want to derive the voltage amplification V out to V in. To do so, we mark all relevant nodes and loops in the circuit. From these loops and nodes, we derive the related equations with the help of Kirchhoff's law. The equation according to node 1 is Gm times Vgs plus Vds over Rds plus Vout over Rd is zero. The equation according to node 2 is consequently minus Gm times Vgs minus VDS over RDS plus VRS over RS is zero. The equation according to loop three is V out is VDS plus VRS. Last but not least, the equation according to loop four is V in is VGS plus VRS. To get the ratio of V out to V in, we have to do some reformulations of the equations and inserting one equation into the other. We are starting with equation number 4 and reformulate it to VRS. Afterwards, we insert the reformulated equation into equation number 2 and number 3. Then, we reformulate equation number 3 to VDS. Back again, we insert the reformulated equation into equation 1. We reformulate this equation to VGS. As you can see, the resulting equations are getting longer, but mathematically not more complex. As we have double fraction, we bring the denominator and denominator to the same common denominator. And happily we can shorten the fraction and get VGS is minus V out times RD plus V in times RD minus V out times RDS divided by RD times GM times RDS plus 1. Then we insert this equation in equation 2 and get a very long term. Now we got the term where, apart from V in and V out, no unknown currents or voltages occur anymore. So we can sort this equation by V in and V out to be able to calculate the ratio of V out to V in. At the first view, the term looks really complicated, but the value of V out to V in can be calculated easily with the help of some math tool like Wolfram Alpha or MATLAB. But to be able to calculate V out to V in, we need to know the small signal parameters RDS and GM. GM can be calculated by the derivative from ID to VGS in the operating point. RDS can be calculated by building the derivative from VDS to ID in the operating point. As our transistor works in the saturation region, we use the formula of ID for the saturation region, which is ID is K times a half times VGS minus VTH squared times 1 plus lambda times VDS. So GM is K times VGS minus VTH times 1 plus lambda times VDS. 
and RDS is 1 over lambda times 1 half times k times VGS minus VTH squared, whereas 1 half times k times VGS minus VTH squared is approximately ID. So we can write RDS is 1 over lambda times ID. But where do we get the values of k and lambda? Actually, they can't be found in the datasheets. So we have to do some workaround with other quantities from the datasheet. We use the transistor ALD1101. In the datasheet, we find the transconductance and the output conductance for another operating point, and not our operating point. The operating point for which these quantities are defined is at ID is 10 mA and VDS is 5 V. GM is 10 millisiemens and GDS is 200 microsiemens. Be aware that in some datasheets, instead of the unit Siemens, the unit MHO or short MO is used, which is the same. The threshold voltage VTH is 0.7 volts and is constant for every operating point. The question is, how to derive VGS for this operating point and K and lambda, which are constant values. The answer is to formulate the equations of ID, GM and GDS. The known values are written in green and the unknown values in red. The first equation is ID is K half times VGS minus VTH squared times 1 plus lambda VDS. The second equation is GM is K times VGS minus VTH times 1 plus lambda times VDS. Last but not least, the third equation is GDS is the derivative of ID to VDS is K and a half times VGS minus VTH squared times lambda. We again reformulate the equations to an unknown value and insert them into the other equations, as we did it for the calculation of V out to V in. We will not do all the steps in this video, because it just takes too much time. We will provide a PDF file for you with all the calculation steps. After the reformulation and inserting the values, we get VGS is 2.7 volts at the operating point of VDS is 5 volts and ID is 10 mA. And a K is 0.0045 ampere per volt square and lambda is 1 over 45 1 over volts. With K and lambda we can now calculate RDS and GM. Be aware that we now have to insert the value of VGS for our operating point. We get RDS is 45 kilo ohms and GM is 3.0225 millisiemens. Last but not least, we can calculate the value of the voltage amplification V out to Vn. We use the formula from before and just insert all parameters. As mentioned before, you can just use some math tool to do so. V out to V in is minus 1.5185. I'm Sabrina with the Institute of Electronics. I hope you have learned something today, but anyways, thanks for watching.